morning, Internet world. We're here in Brandon, Manitoba. It's Thursday. It's the day of our delivery. Temperature outside is minus 28 Celsius. We ended it right here yesterday, just as we got rolling. Uh, so we didn't freeze up overnight. Our fuel didn't gel up. All of our preparation paid off, and we're good to go. So now, about an hour down the road, we'll be in Portage La Prairie, and we'll deliver these insulation panels that I have underneath four tarps. Now that's gonna be the funnest part of the day. I don't think funnest is a word. That's gonna be the most fun part of the day. Because uh, these tarps are gonna be frozen solid. And they're not going to want to roll up. But it's gonna be a good day because we're going home. here one truck in front of me now yet looks like they're about to get him unloaded and everything so guess I'm next so while I'm waiting I took off all of the tarp straps except for <clears throat> except for the corners here and the sides just to keep the tarps on the load for now just get a little head start so I won't have to do it over there all at once this way I can sort of break up the work outside. It's actually not that cold. It's gotta be down to like minus 25, minus 24 right now. Uh, sure, it's still really cold, but it's not as cold as it was last night. That was ridiculous. So now that I got all the bungees off, I got them inside the cab here warming up so that they shrink back down to their normal elasticity, 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 that's a word, right? So they shrink back down. Otherwise, because in the cold, you stretch them out when it's warm and then it gets cold and you take them off the load and they stay stretched out. So I bring them inside the cab, they warm up, and I can use them again. The next load I'm pulling out to BC is also a tarp load. I got more glass, but I don't have to go pick it up in Minneapolis. It's already tarped, or it's going to be already tarped and waiting for me at the yard. At least it better be tarped. Otherwise, because I gotta re-tarp it. Whatever, even if I have to do that, then uh, I'll be ready. So now, as soon as I get into the yard here, all I gotta do is take off like the four corner straps that are holding down the tarp on the load. Take them off real quick, rip the tarps off the load, take the straps off and they can start unloading me. The thing is they're taking forever to unload this guy in front of me. He's been in there for half an hour already with his straps off and his tarps off and they haven't even unloaded one. He's only got four bundles. They're really long bundles though. They came and talked to me too. Like they're, they're 52 foot, 52 foot bundles like insulation pieces, so they go the whole length of the trailer. So you sort of need wide forks to pick them up. And he came and talked to me, said they only got the narrow forks today, so it's very hard, especially if it's a little bit windy back there. They don't want it to fall off one side of the forks. So maybe that's what they're dealing with over there. But either way, it's taken them a little while to get that guy unloaded. I've had enough time to get completely ready to get myself unloaded. Maybe I should just take the tarps off here and roll them up here. I don't think they'd want me to do that though, because I'm. I'm in line here, and if they suddenly come and ask me to come into the yard, they need me to move right away. See this building off to the right here? That white wall that goes all the way around it? That's the insulation panels that I have on my trailer. And all of these right in front of us here, like all of this right here, that's the insulation. That's Those are shorter panels than I have. I got the full, like I said, the 52 foot panels. But it's gonna look like that. And it's going to help insulate this building. And next week, I have another one of these loads coming back here again. They're unloading the guy. You can't see it because of the fisheye lens, but way in the back over there, he's sitting there waiting, all untarped and ready to go, and they haven't unloaded him yet. And 
through the gate we go. Gotta follow this guy in front of me to the back where they're gonna unload me. Hopefully it won't take too long. I got a good head start, so. Well, that delivery went pretty smoothly, actually. I bundled myself up nice. I was nice and warm the whole time. I wasn't cold once. My toes didn't freeze, my hands didn't freeze. My face didn't freeze. Success, I would say. Successful delivery. Another happy customer. Now, it's time to go home. There's other people I need to make happy. Other person I need to make happy. Other person. She goes by wife. So, we're gonna be home tonight around supper. Today is uh, Friday? It's Friday, right? No, it's Thursday. Thursday, yeah, the Friday, Saturday I'll be at home. Sunday afternoon we're leaving back towards British Columbia. A few days at home. It's not supposed to be so cold the next couple of days either. So hopefully I won't have a problem with my truck being frozen when I need to get back to work. We'll do the same thing we did tonight. We'll just prepare. We'll make sure that it's ready. I need a coffee. That's one way I can prepare. I need a coffee right now. Right now. Good morning, everybody. Another new day at home, and we're about to go and run a few errands. But first, we need to go see the dentist. Time for a cleaning again, for both of us. What do you guys think? Aren't we party? We're gonna walk around like this all day. Showing everybody my face already hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that my eyes are squinty while I do it. <laughs> so we both got our cleaning done. It was a good date. Like she was, she called a it a free date. date. A free insurance. Date. Yes. Yeah. Thank God for insurance. God bless Canada and their insurance. <laughs> yeah. Well, that actually comes through my work. That's well, actually not through that's Canadian. That's true. We pay care. for it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we pay for it anyway. Thank God for benefits. Yes. I think that's what we're looking work for. Work benefits. Work benefits. Yep. So we're off to the city right now. Run a few more errands. Do we want to tell them what it is? <laughs> we, well, okay, okay. So <clears throat> we've been trying. She, we've been trying to get her pregnant. And uh, not him. We're not me. To I was gonna say we were trying to get pregnant, but she always corrects me. So he's not. Let's get pregnant. We've been having difficulty. Uh, it's been taking a little while. So I gotta go in today and uh, give a sample. Give a generous donation to a lab. Well, it's not a donation. It's, it's mine. They can't. It's not theirs. I'm just gonna give a they're sample. Donating it for a scientific sample. purposes. For scientific purposes, and they're gonna go and make sure that everything is okay <laughs> with me. <sighs> because uh, once we rule out that it's not me, and uh, then we go, well, you got tests coming up too to see if it's if there is anything in her body that's going on that's causing it, or if it's anything in my body, and if there's nothing. Well, then we're, we're just being impatient. Then we know we're just being impatient. I have an ultrasound coming up at the end of the month, so... Mm -hmm. If you come on over to our family channel next chapter, we will soon be releasing some vlogs on our fertility issues. Mm-hmm. If we even have any. We're not Hold sure. There. Yeah, we're not sure. Well, that, that's why I'm going in today. I only got one test I gotta do. I just gotta give a sample, a donation, and then they can rule me out or they can pinpoint it on me, one or the other. We know that we're not sterile, because obviously, you know, we were able to conceive before. We just want to make sure that we're able to have a healthy baby together. Yeah, and we're impatient, too. Yeah, like, <laughs> we want to get on this. We'd like a bigger family, so. Yep, so uh, we'll we'll see how this goes. i got to go all the way into Winnipeg for this. got to get there before 3 o'clock. It's 12.30 right now. Is it 3 o'clock when they close? I don't know. And then uh, I'll be coming back home after that, as far as I know. Grocery shopping and then home. Now that you guys have way too much information about my day. You're welcome. Let's get going. Dynacare. That's done. We will not speak of it again. Stop laughing. It was so uncomfortable for me. 
But I don't want to talk about it. So we're in Winnipeg right now. And, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> and we're headed back home. This is the only thing we came into Winnipeg for. We're getting out of Winnipeg. And then we're, we got to do some grocery shopping yet, right? Yeah. It's probably in Steinbeck or? Heck yes. Steinbeck, okay. Definitely not in Winnipeg. And we're going to get dog food, let's not forget. Yes. Let's get out of here. Let's do it. Supper time. Well, how is it, Chevy? Chevy, tell the good people how. Why is your food all the way over here? No, that's the mic. That's that's the mic. It's not a toy. Can you reach it in there? You guys are actually gonna be done around the same time this time. That's crazy. Usually Chevy's done at least like four or five minutes before Diesel. Are right, well, you really hungry? Heavy, look. There. Quick, before Frankie gets it, quick. Good boy. Frank, go on. Go on. You already had your supper, you greedy little boy. You already had your supper, Mom said. Come on, Wiener. Come. All done? All done? Good boys. Good boys. What a good supper. What a good supper. Diesel never licks his bowl as good as Chevy does. Chevy always cleans it himself, pretty much. All you gotta do is sort of just wipe it off. Diesel, he leaves all kinds of stuff in there. there you go. Perfect, perfect. My parents got us a gift certificate at Ikea. Christmas already. So, we got a... Uh, uh, sort of like a decorative but use, useful desk, is that what you call it? computer desk that's gonna be going here so this is where I'm gonna be editing vlogs and Britt is also gonna be editing vlogs if you haven't already go check out her channel link is down below in the description she's making lots of vlogs now you go check it out and subscribe I love it she's I loving it. it really enjoying it she's enjoying it so yeah this is gonna be our new computer desk underneath here it's gonna match that right there we're out of water are we out of water oh it's even flashing at you yeah we're out of water. There you go. That's how you solve that problem. Or you change out the job. So that was actually two days squished into one day, as you can tell. We got home that night, and then the next day we went out and got our teeth cleaned at the dentist. Went to Winnipeg for that uncomfortable experience. And then we actually stopped by Ikea on the way out of Winnipeg because of that gift certificate that I had mentioned before. Got ourselves a computer desk and uh, Britt's actually working on it right now. She wants to put it together herself. I offered my help. She said, nope. I'll give you a look at this real quick here. Just putting together the end of the vlog and Britt is busy. Busy building. Builder Britt. Britt the builder. Why do I keep doing this to myself? <laughs> So, like we were saying in the last clip, it's going to go underneath here, and it's going to match that there. So it should look pretty good. We'll eventually center all the things in that wall once we paint someday. Yeah. Everything will look much better. So thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you did like the video. And we'll be back on the road on Sunday. But there will be videos in between here at home. So stay tuned.